Hello everybody and welcome back to Dresden. I didn't uh, plan on making a video so soon after the last one. I, I thought that it would take uh, two or three turns for uh, people to get into position but as it happens events are unfolding. We've now reached six o'clock and you may remember if you watched the last video that I said I was going to move up to this little hill here. And as I was riding that way, just so happens that I bumped into Napoleon. See, let's, uh, there we go. I bumped into Napoleon and staff, including also uh, Mirar, who's also in charge of the Eastern sector. Uh, and uh, we've got some Prussian vedettes, uh, so like a, a light cavalry squad uh, up on this hill, obviously doing some uh, reconnaissance work to so see what uh, kind of defences that we have in this particular sector. Maybe the Prussians are looking to attack, or maybe they're just interested in how we're setting up. Uh, it's quite interesting that they'd be up there so early, so keen, especially when we were attacking through the gardens. However, I did actually go back and look on some old screenshots. It does appear that there is actually a division down here in Strella. I think maybe even they're a bit more forward than that. And immediately our, our, our flank becomes uh, a little bit exposed uh, if they decide to move on us. So that is a little bit worrying. But we were uh, co-located with Napoleon and we had some, some brief chats just to figure out what was going on and, and I picked up some information vicariously through that. Seems like the, some cavalry on the far left over here, or the, you know, the far east of the line did like a, a small reconnaissance. Apparently I've got uh, Ney next to me and he says he's uh, going to uh, con conduct an attack as ordered so he's going to be doing the same thing as I am potentially against the Russians and uh, also there is reports that the first cavalry corps over here has had a bit of a tussle in the early morning with the Austrians and knocked out uh, a few batteries uh, so things things are developing rather quickly Seems like people want to butt, he butt heads uh, really, really early on in the morning. Uh, Napoleon did say he wished uh, that more information was coming back from his commanders. Um, whilst I'm doing my best to say that you know I'm I'm, I'm going through the gardens, so there's not really much else I can I can say. Uh, now, from my point of view, I mean I was only kind of given a screenshot like this. I don't know exactly where. Berthsen has uh, disappeared too, but I guess he's further back here. And uh, seems like uh, Claparidi over here is a little bit slow off the mark as well, because one of his. Um, I'm not exactly sure if this is the second brigade that I was ordering up to the middle when they finally got there, but I did I did spot Claparidi back back here somewhere with some line troops. I don't know if that's still the, the 100th line. I hope not because I really want him to kind of take this central part of the gardens. But that is pretty much how it's uh, looking. Uh, we've heard that there is cannon fire and a bit of musket fire all pretty much all across the line. Um, so over the next few turns I think things are going to be starting to develop rather quickly. Uh, but this Zoplo, is it called? Loplo Gesher Garten. This small kind of garden on the other side of this track here. I think this is going to be a point where we don't want to get flanked. Now I did say to uh, Berthsen that uh, I did want this covered. So hopefully he'll be in the vicinity here next turn. If he's not, I'm going to be worried. Uh, in the meantime, Murat has been uh, told by Napoleon himself to take some guard cav up and retake that hill. 
I did ask if they wanted me to actually set up on that hill. I mean, I kind of discarded it, maybe wrongly, in fact, that it wasn't too much of a strategic advantage in taking that early. But I think I've been proven wrong now on, on, on that case, that actually this hill is quite imperative. But uh, I do believe that there is definitely some Austrian batteries on, on these little hillocks right here these little tufts so it's gonna be it's, it's got probably gonna be tough to just just to hold this I, I'm, I'm still of two minds about it to, to be honest so we've we'll, we'll got some deciding to do on 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 that front but uh, yeah I just thought I'd make a, a quick video as uh, as to what uh, is happening at six o'clock uh, like not much has changed but I've definitely caught the eye of command it would seem <laughs> they're riding over to me to find out what was happening i think i got them panicked a little bit maybe starting a bit too early but like i said i wanted to do my thing i don't want to be fighting in this garden all day you know it's it's not ideal it's not ideal ground you know and otherwise we'll just be cycling divisions all, all, all day long fight fighting in this lot so we do, we do want to make a difference. Um, I am now thinking if Ney's going in, whether this battery here on, on the left of my gardens is actually going to do any good. I mean, I did put them up there just to see if they could make a difference in case the Russians attacked early, but I don't think that's going to be what's yeah what's actually going to be happening in reality um so yeah things are moving it's i am worried about yeah this these little vedettes up here but i don't think they've got any orders other than to uh, uh, attack um i think my biggest worry now is is this division here coming coming through this access point and, and taking the gardens from from that angle but we'll have to see we will have to see if the Prussian commander across from us is is crafty see you on the next one